Americans have been saving more than ever during the pandemic. Despite job losses and widespread economic impact, we have seen the personal savings rate double at the end of last year to about 13.7 percent. But an economic rebound could threaten those savings gains. In in recognition of America Saves Week, our partners at the Funding Our Future campaign are here with some advice. And joining me now is Lee Phillips. She is CEO of Saver Life. It's a nonprofit that helps people build financial security. Lee, good to see you. I know that at your organization in particular, your members tend to be uh, women, uh, women of color earning less than $35,000 a year. Paint the picture for us. What is the savings situation like for those folks. Thanks so much for having me on. Um, So as you mentioned, we have seen the savings rate go up across the board uh, throughout the US. But when you're looking at particular populations, you actually see um, a bit of a different picture than that. So Saver Life is a national nonprofit. We help people uh, save money by making it rewarding, engaging, and fun. And before the pandemic, we knew that about 40% of American households couldn't cover a $400 expense without going into debt. And so that's really the the issue we've been focused on. But of course, in light of the pandemic, that situation's worsened significantly for um, our membership, which tends to be uh, over 80% women, mostly people of color, and uh, making about $25,000 to $35,000 a year. So really the people who are most impacted by uh, this crisis economically um, are the people who Save Our Life um, is serving every day. So what we are seeing actually is still a commitment to saving. So over 50% of our members are still making uh, contributions to savings every month, but we're also seeing greater withdrawals from savings and greater increases in credit card balances. You know, what about people who say, look, I can't possibly, by the by the time I'm done paying all my bills, I have nothing left to save. You say that, that even a small amount is better than no amount. That's exactly right. So at Saver Life, we know how hard it is for people to even have a little bit of money left over at the end of all of their expenses and bills being paid to move that money into saving. But at the same time, we do see that people who use Saver Life are increasing their savings by about three times in a six month period. So what we do is try and design our products to really match people's lives and uh, understand the circumstances that they're facing. So we encourage people to start small. Maybe it's $5 a week or $20 a month. Some people can save consistently. Some people can only save during certain times of year. So for example, we're about to, or we're in the midst right now of tax season, right? So that's a time when many, many families, millions of American families are going to see a pretty significant check from the federal government. And so we really emphasize uh, focusing on helping people to save uh, when they can and to save as frequently as they can, because we know that every little bit really counts, and especially right now as we're trying to help families rebuild. And and I would imagine another good habit to get into is to make those savings automatic, because when you actually have to think about it and say, oh, I don't know, this month I can't do as much as I did last month, but making those the savings amount automatic would also help with consistency. Absolutely. So we often talk about things like paying yourself first and, you know, those other types of methods that are really important. So for those who are able to set up those uh, consistent transfers from checking to savings, that can be really important. Uh, Getting involved with your employer to do a payroll deduction. We definitely see that as a really important way to helping people build savings consistently. And really, the more that we can make this automatic and keep it top of mind, the better success uh, that we see. However, that's not a reality for a lot of low-income people who don't make the same amount of money in their paychecks every week, right? Or they don't have the same uh, consistency in expenses that maybe middle or upper income people have. So if you're an hourly wage worker, maybe you're self-employed and your income isn't consistent, it may not be possible for you to put some of those in, um, those uh, rules into, into practice. So what we really focus on is encouraging people through nudges like text messages and emails and other reminders to save. And then again, also really accelerating savings during key moments. So when people were receiving stimulus checks, for example, we saw a big increase in savings. Um, This time around tax season, we're running a tax campaign now where you can win prizes for pledging to save your tax refund. And that's when we see a lot of savings activity for our clients. 
All right, we're going to leave it there. Lee Phillips of Saver Life, thank you so much. I just want to mention Thanks. that Funding Our Future is an alliance of organizations that are dedicated to making a secure retirement possible for all Americans. And all week long, we're going to be taking a look at how we can all be saving more during this America Saves Week, both for the short term and the long term.